Hello and welcome back to another boot video. Uh, sorry I missed a week last week with everything with the build up to Christmas and um, the weather was pretty horrendous here. And um, anyway, we're back with another video, get to get on with it. Um, I did post a little short YouTube short video of these boots and these are my really vintage Fry boots. I suppose you'd call them um, a Western style boot, um, kind of. Um, an engineer boot, um, perhaps loosely a biker type boot, but um, I've had these uh, Fry men's uh, boots since um, 1978, so these are really vintage. And um, where I first saw these, and I had never seen nothing like this before, um, there was a very, um, in its day, it it didn't get to start with, didn't get particularly good reviews, but it, it's become a bit of a cult television um, program, which was like an action, uh, drama, undercover police type program. Uh, they had more powers than the police, and this was called The Professionals. And this program starred Martin Shaw, and um, his character in this programme was Ray Doyle, if you're not familiar with the professionals at all, which I'm surprised, um, because that has become more of a cult programme now. It got kind of laughed about a bit when it first started, but it certainly over the years has got a cult following now and still repeated um, on some of the, um, you know, um, channels on the horror of the network, on like ITV4 today. And um, several times in some of the episodes, I saw Martin Shaw in some fry boots. He used to wear them. And um, I thought, you know, I want some of those. And I managed to, there was no internet then, you know, you had to go and track this stuff down and, you know, see where it was. And uh, I actually went down on the train and I can't remember the shop even now, but I went down on the train from where I live, which is only about an hour to London and actually bought some in a shop in London and these are these very boots um, so that, that you know they're, they're they have you know so many memories for me and um, I haven't worn them for a long while and I've dug them out um, and the reason is because um, they do really now need resoling. I don't know if you'll see this but I have got there's a little bit of a hole wearing through there this will be the second time that they'll have been resold, and I thought it'd be nice to follow this through. I'm going to try and um, arrange with a boot, a proper professional boot and uh, shoe repairer who has a YouTube channel to see he if he'll resole these and we'll perhaps take them down to him and um, see what he says, whether it's doable, how much it's going to cost, etc. And so you might like to follow that through. That's you know going to be over the coming weeks and even over the coming months. I'm not going to say I'm going to do it next week or even the week after. But uh, they are still wearable. And the beauty of these fry boots is, you know, you can wear them if I stand up and maybe zoom in a little bit. There, hopefully you'll see those a bit better if I come in the centre there. I mean, the beauty of these boots, if, if, if you don't like wearing your boots, you know, outside, you know, you can put your jeans and trousers over them. Um, if you're a bit more, um, you know, like showing off your slightly taller boot, well, you can put your trousers or jeans inside of them and we'll have a look at that in a bit. Um, but they're great boots. I love these, as I say. Um, and um, these have got a great patina on them now over all the years. They've been cleaned, they've been well looked after. And as I say, really, you know, um, still, still as good as the day that I bought them and um, have had so much wear. As I've said before, with many uh, pairs of boots that uh, I'm going to look at and I have looked at, often boots are an investment, you know, that um, it's no good thinking, you know, oh, they're expensive. But, you know, when you think uh, these boots have now lasted me 44 years, um, I can't remember what I paid for them way back then. But, um, you know, if you took that into account, the wear they've had and the usage they've had, it's basically next to nothing so boots are a certain amount of an investment to buy a good pair of boots and these are still available um, I haven't looked online how much they are but I should think they probably round you know the 160 
to 200 pounds a pair in the UK, and that's a bit of a wild guess, um, you know, as I say. But if you search fry boots, I'm sure you'll find some stockist somewhere. Um, and so I think that, you know, they're, they're a super boot. They, 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 these, there again, as I've said before, these felt so comfortable the first time I tried them on in the shop, I remember. In fact, I love them so much. <laughs> I, they said, would you like them wrapping up and putting in a box? And I said, no, I'm going home in these. And I, I wore them home on the train that day. I, I took the box with me and I haven't got the box anymore, sadly, that's long gone. Um, so yeah, Fry boots, and as I say, I really love them. I think they're great, they're so hard wearing, they look attractive, and um, if you're not, you know, into boots, and you want to get into boots, and you'd like a pair of boots, these are certainly, you know, the kind of boots maybe to think about. They have that, as I say, they have that kind of, just that western little bit of an angle. I'm not gonna call them a true cowboy boot, but I suppose they are, you know, um, slightly down that avenue and I say a bit like an engineering a bit like a biker boot but um, very much just a fashion boot and can be worn you know any time with anything really and go well with jeans I've got cords on today with them um, so they're the fry boots I don't know a, um, a particularly what the boot was called and say it's just a fry boot um, basically um, I think, and, and obviously it's got this quite attractive ring, you know, decoration down the bottom there. So um, I will stick the, put some different trousers on and we'll have a look at them. Also, without the trousers all down over them, which is another way you can wear them if you want. Um, it's entirely up to you how you dress, how you wear boots. And, um, you know, um, so yeah, we'll have a look at that anyway. There we go that's just another way of wearing them so you can see the whole boot as you see there they're what i call a mid calf boot again they don't they don't come up too high but they're, they're you know taller than a lot of you know the chelsea boots by a long way uh but so lovely lovely dark these have gone to a, having been cleaned so many times gone to a lovely dark uh patina on the leather a very dark brown and um you know I, I like them you know like this with the trousers in them you know but to, if that's not your thing or you don't think men should dress like that that's fine not a problem you know you can you the whole point of what i'm trying to say here is that men shouldn't be afraid to wear boots and you know you wear them how you like you know if you like the trousers on the outside fine or if you like the trousers on the inside you know that's fine um it's all about what you like and what you makes you feel good and happy and what you're comfortable with and um as i say these are so comfortable boots i'm um, pleased i found them and we will follow the um if you like the restoration of the soles of these um it'll be on future 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 videos and um, I'll, you know, show you where I'm going to take them and if the guy is happy for me to do a bit of filming there, well, we'll have a look and talk to him about, you know, if it's possible to have them resold and what that's going to cost and um, etc. So um, I hope you'll come back and probably follow these fry boots um, as we get them, you know, try and get the soles sorted out on them. But there they go. Um, say fry boots and these are 19... 78 stroke 79 vintage
and um, all basically because I saw um, a television program, you know, which we say was called The, the Professionals, um, with uh, Martin Shaw, who played Ray Doyle in The Professionals, and um, he w wore these in several episodes. In fact, I'll put a picture up of Martin Shaw as Ray Doyle, um, probably, if I can find one, in his fray boots um, as he appeared. And that's how I thought when I saw them, and I thought, wow, you know, I've got to have some of these. And I, I've no doubt I was working then, and I no doubt had to save up. Um, and, um, you know, several months later, went and bought these in London. So there we go, fry boots, really good. You know, if you're new to boots and want to try some, you know, slightly taller boots with a, with a little bit of a heel, because these do have a little bit of heel, as you can see. If we get up there and I show you, they do have a bit of a heel. But um, so there we go. As always, thank you for watching. And um, please like, comment, you know, have you got fry boots? Do you like wearing fry boots? Your thoughts are always so gratefully received. Please do consider subscribing, that's entirely up to you. Um, but we will be back with more boot videos very soon. We should be trying to do one a week, as I said all along when I started the channel. So um, I'd just like to wish you all a very happy new year and hope you've had a good Christmas. And we'll be back very soon. Until that point in time, best wishes and bye for now.